fighting to keep warm as temperatures plunge. Threats of landslides forced these survivors of last year's massive Nepal earthquake to move to higher ground. But their temporary shelters do little to keep out the biting cold of the Himalayan winter, despite numerous donations received. It's difficult and we hope that the government helps us build homes soon. The earthquake killed nearly 9,000 people and destroyed more than half a million homes. After the earthquake, my husband left for work. Our home was destroyed. So in order to rebuild our home and to feed and take care of our three children, he is now working in Oman. International donors have offered billions of dollars in aid for reconstruction, but rebuilding has yet to begin across Nepal, and the villagers say they're losing hope. If the government takes longer to help us reconstruct our homes, we are ready to go and sit in front of the officials in Kathmandu and protest. We will stay hungry if we have to, but we will knock on their doors and protest. With the rebuilding expected to take years, tens of thousands of homeless Nepalese are facing many more winters like this one.